Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the acetoacetic ester synthesis. The acetoacetic ester synthesis is similar to the malonic ester synthesis, except we start with an ester of acetoacetic acid. So this is ethyl acetyl ethyl acetyl aceto acetate. Sorry, I was having some some trouble there. The overall reaction process is the same. You have a compound that can be deprotonated and under and become a enolate nucleophile. The identity of the base is such that you have to match the functionality of the ester. Nucleophilic attack happens with an alkyl halide, hydrolysis, and heat to decarboxylate. Uh, and you get a substituted acetone as your product. Hmm. I've worked through uh, the mechanism of these steps in my video on the malonic ester synthesis, so I'm not going to go into as great a detail here, uh, but I will show the steps of what's happening as, as we go along. So in step one, um, ethyl or ethyl acetoacetate is uh, deprotonated. In step two, in step two, it undergoes an alkylation reaction. And um, even though I just had Rx up here in my example, I'm going to be uh, sort of explicit that this is an SN2-like reaction. So primary alkyl halides are, are best here. Step three is acid catalyzed ester hydrolysis. And as I mentioned in my malonic ester video, this should be a familiar reaction now. Uh, most undergraduate course sequences describe the chemistry of it, the sort of substitution and, and hydrolysis chemistry of esters before they get to this point. Um, so I don't, I don't want to go too far into that. And then step four is decarboxylation. Uh, and I am going to end up drawing this mechanism again because it's really the new thing that occurs in this sequence of reactions. You know, the carboxylic acid is capable of, of undergoing this decarboxylation step when you heat it. form carbon dioxide and an enol. And that enol will undergo, I have to write wrong, there we go. The enol will undergo tautomerization back to the ketone. So you get this substituted acetone. Uh, and, you know, acetone can be alkylated other ways, but depending on the complexity of what R is, this may be a better pathway uh, to, to forming this product. So here is, again, the overall sort of synthetic sequence. And maybe let's just do a quick uh, example for what, uh, what kind of a compound we could make and how we would take that apart. So let's see, let's get a phenyl ring. So if I wanted to make this ketone using a ethyl aceto or an aceto acetic ester synthesis, we would be looking at forming the bond here. Uh, and the acetone part, the, the ketone part, would come from an ester of, oh, not phosphorus, of acetoacetic 
acid. And the, you know, here I go. Other part would come from an alkyl halide electrophile. These are the two pieces that you would start with. This concludes my video on the acetoacetic ester synthesis. Thank you for watching.